denied that chance to go because of the boycott. And of course, we're speaking of Donald Curry of Fort Worth, Texas. And you know, the biggest night in his career came a week ago last night in Las Vegas, Nevada. Al Michaels, our colleague, was there at ringside. A unification fight for the undisputed Willoway Championship of the World between Donald Curry and Milton McCrory is the attraction today as we come to you from the Mammoth Hilton Hotel in Las Vegas. Hello again, everyone. I'm Al Michaels, and tonight, a fight that every fight fan in this country has been anticipating for a good deal of time, and also one that has a chance to rank as one of the more memorable fights of 1985, and as this year comes to a close, we automatically think about a fight held in this city in April between Marvin Hagler and Thomas Hearns, and one in June in London, where Barry McGuigan won the featherweight championship over Eusebio Pedroza. Strangely, though, this fight has not captured the public's fancy, probably because the two men who will fight it out for the undisputed World Welterweight Championship here are rather shy, are what you would call nice guys, and neither are particularly prone to hyping this event. So they will stand on their own merits, and somebody will remain unbeaten as we take a look at two unbeaten fighters. First, Milton McCrory out of the Cronk Gym in Detroit with a mark of 27-0-1, the draw against Colin Jones, and then he subsequently beat Jones in 1983 to win the WBC Welterweight Championship. He has 22 knockouts. And Donald Curry out of Fort Worth, Texas, who is the WBA and IBF welterweight champion, who won the championship over Young Suk Wong of Korea in 1983, and he has a mark of 23-0 with 17 knockouts. The tail of the tape, Curry 24, McCrory 23. There was some speculation that the two would have trouble making the weight, but they did not this morning. They both came in under the welterweight limit of 147 pounds. McCrory extremely tall for a welterweight at 6'1 and possesses an inch and a half reach advantage. The referee is Mills Lane. The judges are Dave Moretti, Lou Tabbitt, and Joe Roth. Scoring on the 10-point must system, no standing eight count. The three knockdown rule is in effect, and a fighter cannot be saved by the bell except in the final round. The betting line here in Nevada strangely has Curry as a prohibitive favorite. Most boxing experts feel that Curry will win the fight, but they think the fight will be a very, very close one. And a thing to keep in mind at the outset is the condition of Donald Curry's right hand. The last time he fought, and we brought it to you on ABC in June against Pablo Baez in Atlantic City, he broke his right hand. He has not been in the ring since then. As far as McCrory is concerned, one of the things to keep in mind is stamina. That's been questioned throughout his career, and he did get a break by winning a coin flip, and thus he was able to determine whether he wanted this fight to go 12 or 15 rounds and naturally opted for 12. And so here we go. It's about every boxing aficionado has been anticipating eagerly and a good right hand immediately landed by Curry, who is a master craftsman, a very stylish boxer. Many think Donald Curry in the red trunks is the best fighter pound for pound in the world today. Milton McCrory with exceptional boxing skills, probably more punching power, but a man who can be awkward at times and then throw punches from all angles. Curry, an excellent counter puncher and countering here with a good right hand. Curry seeking the opening up top and then delivering the left hand to the body. Curry with a couple of booming right hands at the outset. And that's indicative of a man not thinking about the fact he broke it in his last fight. So the two men come to the center of the ring in this scheduled 12-rounder in Las Vegas for the undisputed well-away championship of the world, a unification bout. The only undisputed champion in any division currently is Marvin Hagler in the middleweight class. Curry backing McCrory to the ropes. Milton with a good left jab. That's one of his prime weapons. And would figure to be very important for McCrory to get that left jab in throughout the fight for him to be effective. Curry, an excellent counter puncher, and you can see evidence of those skills here in the very first round. Good 
McCrory, who has shown evidence in fire bouts, takes a left hand here. Curry tries to follow up. He has McCrory in trouble. Curry got the left hand in, and Milton, his eyes somewhat dazed, able to hold on, but then Curry, seeking the opening again, follows with a combination. He has Milton backing up. McCrory keeping the hands up. Curry looking for the opening up top. Half a minute to go now in this first round. As the most significant blow of the round landed by Curry, who has come out extremely aggressively here in round one. Again, he has McCrory backing up. The two again in the center of the ring with 15 seconds remaining in round one. A very good first round for the WBA champion, Donald Curry. Now the bell for the start of round two here in Las Vegas. Donald Curry, the WBA and IBF champion in the red trunks, and Milton McCrory, the WBC World Away champion in the gold trunks, and Bill Lane steps in, a warning for Donald Curry for a low blow. The two touch gloves, the action resumes. The low blow, part of a body attack here early in the fight from Curry. That could be his early round strategy to try to wear McCrory down with a good body attack. And there's a decent left delivered by McCrory. Curry with exceptional skills, quick hands, quick feet, and tremendous defense. It's very tough to get through the gloves of Donald Curry. Curry trying to utilize that left jab, and that has to be an effective weapon if McCrory's to win. Right cross from Curry with more of a glancing blow, and a left counter from McCrory. Curry trying to work inside there. A very good hit by his gun. Second round action. Curry keeping those hands up. Keeping his gloves high. And a great countering left by Donald Curry. McCrory is down here in the second round. And down he goes again, but he gets up in the count of seven. Bill Slane looking into his eyes. McCrory rubbery legging, and down he goes again. One more punch, and he will not get up from this one. Down twice here in the second round. Milton McCrory doesn't know where he is right now. resounding and incredibly impressive victory for Donald Curry. He was a prohibitive favorite. The bout, though, figured to be a lot closer. In the first round, he stunned McCrory with a left hand and then knocks him down and then out here in the second round. And Milton McCrory still on his back on the canvas. And for those who felt coming in that pound for pound, Donald Curry is the best fighter in the world. He has done absolutely nothing to dispel that notion here. So a tremendous win for Curry, who adds the WBC crown to his WBA and IBF welterweight titles. Let's have a look now at the first knockdown, and it came quickly, that left hand from Curry. Laurie McCrory, now from the overhead angle, look how quick he is, the countering left, down went McCrory, wobbled to his feet, and there was no doubt sitting here at ringside, it would only take one or two more punches for this thing to end. Bills Lane letting them continue, and then Curry came in, it only took one more right hand, and that wrote an end to this much anticipated fight. And only a surprising ending in the sense it ended so rapidly and so convincingly. So McCrory still on his back. Down he goes to the first defeat of his career. Donald Curry remains unbeaten. He's the undisputed world champion of the world.